Hello everyone, this is Mel from Everything Marmy. I am just finishing up working a little bit on the house book, but we're not going to actually be working on the house book today. I just thought I would turn on the camera very quickly and give you a quick sneak peek of how I have uglified some of the pages deliberately. And some are stuck. I see here. That's all right because nothing in this book can be ruined. So today is Friday the 5th of April 2024. And, oh my goodness, I feel like, I don't know, I am so exhausted, you guys. How many of you guys are, like, tired? It's been a long week, hasn't it? Okay, so this page, obviously, I think, let's just do something really bold, because that's still good. So... Obviously, I closed the page on this. It didn't work well. There's a great big, huge hole here, but I'm going to work with that. And having errors like this are not really errors. They're happy accidents, to be honest. And I think I'll work on this page probably the next time I get to this book. I'm wondering if any of you out there have decided to join me in this endeavor. If you can comment below, that would be fantastic. I've done a couple of uh, videos on um, what I've done, where the inspiration came from, which was Courtney Diaz at Little Raven Inc. Um, and I've sort of resurrected something that she started eight years ago, seven years ago, and then just stopped, I think because her Patreon um, became a little bit more of her focus in her energy. She's also a published artist now. Um, and I had taken a whole whack of these papers that I had removed from the book and used paint water and dyed them. Unfortunately, I didn't think of putting wax paper between them and they're all stuck together. I'm going to show you also in some upcoming videos what I'm going to be doing with all of those. And I do have like words cut out of magazines. Um, these are envelopes I've just kept with the windows in it. Paper towels. Um, I started this book mid-March and I picked the house book because I love the images in it. You can do it in any kind of book. This is huge. It's a massive two inch spine, 10 by 10, almost perfectly square book. And so while I was doing this book, um, just before actually I was doing this book and working actually in another art book I had, and I just use a simple closure here, to uh, hold it together for now. And I'm gonna be just putting that away because I just wanted to show you sort of how big this book is and how many pages I had to remove, literally half the pages. And um, if you're new here, hello. <laughs> I am very much of a chatty Kathy. Oh gosh, I have a collapse going here. Um, did you hear that? <laughs> I have, I have these books here that decided to take a dive because I'm working on my fourth B6 planner. If you'll excuse me a second. my washi tapes <laughs> decided to go flying across the room in this homemade box. I've shown you that. So if you're new here, obviously I'm a total train wreck. Um, that's nothing new to anybody who knows me. I 
spent some time actually this morning on a little side note on these books. I was looking at these books, uh, especially the B6. So this was my first one. I started in one book July last year. This was an adaptation of um, Monique's system over at Monique Plants. And you can see at one point I had put paper all over it. I had to remove it. You can see how thick it is. It has two months in it. July and August. Then the next one was November and December, I believe. No, this was all December. I did an entire book for December. And I liked that. I really did like that. Um, I was kind of going back through memory lane through this book. Um, and just looking at some of what I had been doing in this book. And it's so nice to go back and see the art aspect of what I was doing and what I was writing about. And, you know, I was really doing hybrids even back then. Hybrids being that I was more of a memory keeper than a planner. And then this one here was January and February, and it still has the plastic cover on it. And if you look, they all look like a big filing cabinet, right? They do. Um, and I love that about them. So I'd been thinking about going uh, into the yellow half stylogy, and I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I will be working on this all this weekend. And I'm going into the full uh, black stylogy. I, after looking through these books, falling in love with how they just feel in my hands, some of the memories they triggered for me, my gratitudes, everything like that, has a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to dive myself into the heart of darkness, if you will, in this full stylogy. It may be a month, it may be two months, I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do. I will save this book for a special, um, I don't know, but I want to make this something special throughout the year. Um, that's a little bit different. So like an added bonus for the year, because Essentially, these two books were last year, and then I went into uh, two standards, a Moleskeen and a A5 Stalogy cut down to a standard. And then in this year, as you know, I, I did January, February here, and then I jumped to this huge book. March and I've been playing with it uh, I didn't sleep much last night let me stay up there without falling so uh, I wonder if I can find my sketches I I was just doing some sketches uh, here's some here's some sketches that I was doing um, with just a red pencil. I have one of these. Is that it there? There it is. I have one of these pencils here. These were suggested by James Burke. I got a whole box of them um, off of Amazon. These are um, I don't know. Can you read that? And they're very good. They're very good. I've got a couple of raccoons that I've been trying to draw down here in the gold. Um, so, yeah, I 
that was March, and now I'm going to go to April, and I, I feel very strongly that I'm going to stay for the rest of the year in the B6 Dollar and then I'm going to do a special book, and I'm not sure... Oh, I just noticed this warning. Keep away from small children. The thin film may cling to the nose and mouth. Oh my goodness, I have a story for you. When my youngest daughter turned one, she got one of those sippy cups. And if you know how the sippy cup is, it has a little raised mouth part. Well, that mouth part got stuck over her nose. And as she breathed, it got suctioned to her face. And she was flying around walking at that point. And I looked over and she was almost blue. So yes, please be careful. Um, back to what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make this a special. And it might be a family special. It might be a... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to dig into the depths of my imagination and create something mystical or magical or even a cartoon or something. But this, this is where she lies in my planner system for this year so far. That is in the quote-unquote bullet journal classification. Um, but ultimately, it's Monique system that I've adapted that she's given me graciously uh, permission to use and I'm telling you folks I love it I absolutely love it and I've missed the b6 and I was going to go into the a5 like I mentioned and now that I know I'm going into the b6 again I'm like all down for it but my energy hasn't been the greatest and yesterday I got a delivery. Now, I got a special delivery yesterday and I told you that I had been like on a bit of a spending spree. But that's because a lot of shops and a lot of places were um, doing sales. Uh, art boxes were doing sales. And I don't know if you remember a while ago, I mentioned to you all that... Art boxes are the best way of getting, like, special pens, Posca pens, um, these kind of pens. I've all gotten these out of, like, art boxes. Um, pens that I would normally not get on my own because they're so expensive <clears throat> to buy individually. Um... No, that was from the Dollar Tree. Some some things you can buy inexpensive, but other things, you know, like other things would be like, I noticed this was at um, Jet Pens in a collection for fairly reasonable, but back then they weren't. They weren't available there. Uh, not that I went looking because they, they came in the Art Snacks box and my cups are like flowing over. So I... I do have a good collection of pens, guys. Um, I hope you have your coffee. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Premier Protein. And it is Cafe Latte. And it actually does have caffeine in it. Where does it say it? Contains caffeine. It's 30 grams of protein, and it only has one gram of sugar and 160 calories. Not that I care about the calories. I do care about the sugar. And it's got 23 vitamins and minerals. It's low in fat. 30 grams of protein. That's what I care about. And it tastes fantastic. I had purchased this, put it in my fridge, and never really had one. And uh, because I didn't really feel hungry yesterday, I had one. And oh my goodness, this tastes better than the Tim Hortons cold coffees. It is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I'm sorry if I guzzled, but my goodness, these are staying down, folks. I am so happy. So I hope you have your coffee in whatever form. So this is what I wanted to show to you. And you'll be surprised, guys. Now, yesterday I announced something on my channel. And 
What I'm going to do is put a collection of bits and bobs in my next giveaway in probably something like one of these box sizes, but more pricier items. Okay. Um, and they very well may come from a collection of these boxes because these boxes, folks, have expensive items in it, but I didn't pay that. Okay, this is the June 2022 box from Art Snacks, or Scholar Box, pardon me. These are Scholar Boxes. Now, I, I just happened to get an email from them. I used to do Art Snacks and Scholar Boxes. And I got an email from them, because I'm on their email list, of course. And I have different emails, guys. I don't know if you guys know how to do this, but I set up different emails for different aspects of my personal life. So when it comes to my YouTube stuff, I have um, the artist within you at shaw.ca. Um, my personal uh, email doesn't touch my art stuff. So I got, I got an email saying, go check out the site because they're doing a massive sale. So I did, and I was floored, floored, and I'll tell you why. So I didn't just get those, I also got this one. And I bet you're thinking, oh my gosh, you've spent hundreds of dollars with Scholar Box. Nope, I didn't, but I don't know what's in them. Well, I did know, because I could view them, but um, these are the old boxes, June, 2022 scroller box okay now I don't know if they have any left I'm sorry to say I didn't go on today and check my life is completely oh god guys how do I explain this it's it's just chaotic okay when I find time to film I film and like today I literally have the gravel feeling in my eyes because I could not sleep properly. I've just been like running here, there and everywhere. I'm sure lots of you guys can understand. So I did know what was in them. Um, I did have requests from people. Thank you so much to do videos on my other channel. I will try to endeavor to do one today, but I can't guarantee it. It really comes down to energy folks. Okay. That's really what it comes down to. And my walk is important. Appointments I have to do. And at the end of it all, if I have zero energy, I have zero energy. Uh, and that's why I said, like, I couldn't even make a can of soup yesterday. I was that drained after I'd done everything because my walks are that important. Now, if I didn't do the walks, I'd probably have a little bit more energy. Um, but this coming off the Easter weekend and spending that time, my body's been trying to recoup that energy. And even though my, my one main doctor has been away and another doctor has been away, I still have some very important appointments and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to get into that. Needless to say, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just trying to state the reasons, the real reasons. But back to the scroller box. They sent me an email. It said, check out the site. So I did. And oh my gosh. I don't know how many of these are left, guys. But let me tell you how much this box cost before I even show you. Okay, so this was the, the June 2022 box. And I'm just going to cover up. You know how much it cost? $7 US. $7 and they combined shipping for everything. It was $7. Do you know how much they usually go for? Between 45 and 50. So this is what I mean. For $7, you'd be lucky to get this pen. You see? That's what I mean. So if you guys are on the lookout for supplies that are a good quality, that you want to get a hold of. Keep your eyes out. Go sign up for Scrawler Box. Art Snacks is another one. I think I got... I got an invite for them too. But because I went kind of with these guys. I, you know. 
Like I just, yeah. So Scholar Box is really neat because like art, um, like the, the Art Snacks box, they pick an artist a month and then that artist curates what goes in the box and you get the items to make what the artist wants. But you get like a bunch of stuff, you see? So let's just pull everything out. No, actually, I want to keep everything in. So you get the scrawler sign. Look at the colors here. Like it's beautiful. And then this tells you everything that's inside of it. And it's Renata Patton, who was the scrawler artist. Oh no, this was the June featured artist. Oh, look at that raccoon. Oh my gosh. And there's tips and tricks and like cutouts and you could do so much with this free magazine. All things neon. I'm super into neon right now. Then this was the um, art from the box, which I guess is creme Ren. 22 so this was the featured artist oh it was the featured artist Renata Patton aka Kremren so she's based in Melbourne Australia she's best known for her work with acrylic paint pens okay so I'll just let you read that and um I see a lizard on some leaves and even like, like it's beautiful. And then, so you get a Bristol board paper, A5 size, 10 sheets. So this is really nice and thick paper. Like, do I have my light on? Okay, like that's, that's really lovely paper. I mean, I don't even think you could have bought that for $7 US. And it's made in Britain. It's 250 GSM, guys. Yeah, to give you an idea, your printer paper is 20 GSM. And let's see what's inside of here. Now, I want to keep this little, that's their logo. And what else is in here? So I want to keep this paper too, because I have a junk journal that I want to put that in. So this was June, 2022. Okay, why did I think it was October? I don't know. And it was called, the challenge was Electric Dreams. So she used these items here. This is what she curated. Oh, and you get candy. So this candy's probably bad. I mean, I don't know. But there's so much sugar in this stuff, guys, that I doubt it ever goes bad. Tutti Frutti Chewy Chew Bar with a fizzy center. Swizzler's Stinger. The chewiest chew bar on the planet. So you get candy. And then this is what you get in the box. And these are fantastic, you guys. They are Poscas. Do you hear that? And they're neon. Oh my gosh. $7. You cannot buy four of these pens for $7. These are the Pilot Pintor Medium. And I don't want to take the wrappers off of them yet, guys, because like I said, I have a giveaway coming up and I don't know what I'll be putting in the box. This is a purple Micron 0.5. I do not have a purple Micron. And then you get a sticker. Now, for my giveaway, I will mix and match so it won't be a complete box as you see it, okay? What I will do is take this flat little box like this because it's easy to ship. It's inexpensive to ship. Okay. And I chose five because I have five items. 
So if you don't know what I'm talking about, my very last video, I kind of mentioned something about it. Now, I like to throw in giveaways, as you know. And I've just sent off Maria's uh, giveaway box. And um, when she gets that box, I don't know if she'll do a box opening or not. Maria, if you do do a box opening at your own choosing, you don't have to. But if you do, let me know. And I'll post that on my community wall for people to go and see. And um, this is fantastic, guys. Like, look at these neon colors. I'm, like, totally impressed. And I totally want to swatch them. And, and what I will do is open up all these boxes today. And then, if you're paying particular attention... I will come back and use my art book with the items I choose to keep. So if you're paying attention, you're going to see what's missing that I'm, I'm not swatching tomorrow. Okay. And then on Sunday, hopefully I will have my B6 Stalogy ready to present to everybody. That's my hope. This Bristol board paper. Look at the colors, guys. Like that. That's just amazing. Okay, let's let's get these semi organized. I love that um, the art snacks and the scrawler box both have stickers to them. And I used to subscribe to both of them. And I missed it, but then I like to spread the wealth, if you will. So I'm just going to take some washi tape and close that up because I don't want to wreck the box because the box, literally, I'm going to be sending one of these boxes. So that, that was the June 2022 box. It cost seven U.S. dollars, folks. That's it. Seven U.S. dollars. Can you believe it? So, um, I won't link it. You can just go Google Scrawler Box, okay? Scrawler Box. I, I know that a lot of you guys like links. It's very difficult with my fingertips, guys. I did try to go in and leave comments. And I left comments on everybody's and then I went back and looked and some of you guys didn't have comments left where I put thank you. If you didn't get a comment from me that said thank you, my intention was to write thank you. I don't know if I deleted it or not with my fingers. If I did, I apologize. I meant to write thank you. That's what I mean, guys. I'm struggling um, with with those fine motor skills. It is being looked into. Um so I wish there was kind of a voice um, recording on responses. But then again, I can understand why not. Because, you know, can you imagine, you know, people that are, you know, keyboard warriors that want to leave, you know, nasties. Um, so that, that, that's one. Let me move on from that negative thought because my, my channel is completely positive. And I want to have it remain as such. But one of these, one of these will be filled with goodies in my next giveaway. And I generally try to do a giveaway every, I don't know, six to eight weeks. Sorry, I am just enjoying this um, cafe latte. Oh my God. I think I will be living on Premier Protein, honestly. I just, I just finally feel like I'm getting coffee into me, you guys. It's the solution I've been praying for. So if you've been praying for me to have something, I can't drink anything hot. It doesn't work, but... So that was the June box. Let's move on. Where am I going to put it? Okay. The next box was the December 2022 box. And I was shocked that the December was still available. Very shocked. So, how much was this? This was only $5, guys. This one was only $5 US dollars. Now, I think it was so inexpensive because they were giving a discount for the Christmas. So, the box in itself 
at Christmas was sold for less, being affordable for the season, you see? So I think that's why they lowered the cost by $2, because it is the cheapest box I bought. And I just love how easy it is to open. I was saying with the scrawler boxes and, you know, me linking things, I even have a hard time just writing stuff in the description. So, like, I've tried to put, like, all my hashtags in my notes and then copy and paste. For some reason, it's not working. It's frustrating. Okay, let's look at this one. December 2022. So a lot of these have fallen out. You still get your candies. Oh my goodness. Candies don't really go bad, guys. I learned that in the military. The sugar keeps them going. Here's another sticker. Okay, so let's start with the magazine again. Whoa! There goes the candies. Do you see how I drop everything? Honestly, it's not a video unless I do. Oh, I need to get out on my walk. So this one, look at this. Again, the bold, beautiful colors of this magazine. Look at that. Love it. I love sharing finds with you guys. Now, these are the, the items. You know, you get a sticker. Look at, you got even more Posca markers. Like, it is... Who is our featured artist? Mr. Phil. And that's his design. So he's very abstract. Acrylic permanent edding. Oh my gosh. They're two to three millimeter. He tells you things to try. Tips behind the artwork. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Can you see all of that? And I really hope, as I'm showing you these boxes, that you haul out your, your art journals, your planners, your notes, your doodle pads, your grocery lists, and just, or your, your crochet, your knitting. You know, make yourself a hot cup of whatever. If you haven't paused it to do that yet, please do that. I make long videos, you guys, and I love doing it. Uh, and in order to do it for me, that I can justify it so that it's a safe, wonderful, pleasant place for everybody, hopefully, that comes to join me. In gratitude, I do not advertise in my videos, you guys. Now, there will always be videos, advertisements at the beginning. Now, I have not monetized this channel, which means I'm not in control of those videos in the beginning. On my other channel, I have monetized to control those ads in the beginning. However, I have collected zero money on any of them because I want this to be fun for all. And the, the second it becomes a job, you see, I, I, I'm fearful that I will be pulled into that depth where people get pulled of trying to please others. I'm not trying to please anybody. I'm at the point of my life where I'm beyond that. In fact, there is a very strong part of my, my personality, which I call military Mel, that has always just been me. And people would ask me for my opinion because I would give them the straight up. I didn't put on knee pads, if you will, to my bosses in the military. And that might have cost me some promotions but I didn't care. Um, I think it's, it's, it's more important to be your authentic self. And so people would seek me out for my opinion, and I would ask them, are you sure? So when I present all of this to you, I'm not trying to influence you to go to Scrawler Box and to purchase these. I'm just saying I have, and I would like to share it with you. And then 
if you want to just sit and do art while I share. Because it's like kindergarten here, right? It's fun. So that's that's my whole aim, my whole goal, guys. And I, I think I reiterate that almost every video. Um, and then you have this thing here, um, which I don't know if it's good anymore, but it gives Mr. Phil's uh, artist stuff. I absolutely love that. Absolutely love this bold color. I can see me using this in my house book, really. And then this is his artwork. Now these are, don't fall tape, all of these kind of cardstock um, pictures that they do. And I know uh, James Burks does the Art Snacks one. So these are not Art Snacks. These are uh, 5.9 inches by 8.25 inches. And on the back, it tells you again, you can screenshot all of that if you want. Um, and I'm just reading it very quickly here. I really love, I really love the fact that um, he uses multimedia to do his art. So, Again, another 10 sheets of A5 cardstock. Look at this color. Oh my gosh. Now, when I was picking the boxes, of course, there was only so many left. And I didn't get them all. I think there were like seven or eight left. Um, there might have been more. I... I just, I love mystery boxes, guys. What can I say? So the scroller challenge for December of 2022 was Chaos Confined. Now you can take these and work in your own personal journal and either write about them. Chaos Confined. What does that mean to you? You can draw about it. You can art journal it. You can do, I don't know. <coughs> a stream of consciousness, pardon me, guys. Stream of consciousness, like Virginia Woolf, where you just write, 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 write. There's no punctuation. There's no um, anything. You can draw little pictures. You can draw your emotional state, anything. And then on the back, it tells you again what's in the box. So the sticker... I love these stickers, guys. I am a sticker fanatic. And then the candy, oh gosh, we can't forget the candy, is the mini Mentos. What flavor is this? It just says green apple. Oh my gosh, green apple is one of my faves. And like I said, guys, in the military, we ate food that said best before. Best before generally means it's okay, but they had to put it on because the FDA required them to do it. Now, if it says expiry date, get rid of it. If it says best before, that's just a suggestion. This pen is a Uni Pen Fine Line Chisel 2.0. I don't think I've ever had one like this before. Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. And more acrylic paint pens. Look at these colors, you guys. <gasps> at this rate, you guys aren't getting anything from this box. And if that's the case, I'll come out with something else. Even if I have to order it from Amazon and ship it out or an alternative. But you've got this gorgeous teal, this lovely yellow. You know how I feel about, oh, look, like three of my favorite colors right there even though this is more of a red, but it could go as a pink. What color is that? And they're two to three millimeters, so they're a different tip size. Look at that. Like I am such a nerd 
with art supplies, guys, with stationary supplies. It's not even funny. And then they provide a Stadler Norris School made in Germany upcycled wood pencil. And it's already pre-sharpened. And it's got this red top. So, wow. Like, that, that box was five US dollars. I kid you not. I am floored. And I got to tell you guys, when I am into a hobby, I go in deep. Um, because it's not only a hobby to me. It is, for me, um, especially for health reasons, it is a salvation. It is a way of expressing myself. It is a way of losing myself in time of encouraging that emotional base to come to the forefront, to feel gratitude for my life, and to rejoice in the fact that I have the privilege of, of such beautiful things. Now, it's not just art supplies that I collect. I have postcards, I have stamps, I have a coin collection, I have a reborn doll collection, I have stationary from seriously elementary school i am a collector but here's my theory as long as it has a home it's not hoarding as long as it has a home it's not hoarding and what's interesting is i watched a video from james burke and he he went to uh, some years ago he went to uh one of his first art shows where he was displaying some of his stuff and he was giving out merch, t-shirts. He had a hoodie on with it that says, as long as it has a home, it's not hoarding, or it's not hoarding if it's not hoarding if it has a home. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've been I've been like writing that in my journals for years. So yes, I I do have a fairly large garage. I am very, very, very fortunate. I think I'm gonna try this tape instead. Love masking tape. Guys, this is a staple, staple. Um, and it doesn't rip like uh, white tape. So hopefully one piece should do it. So that was the December 2022 box of the Scholar box. Very happy. Now the next box is the February 2023 box. And it is like, can you see that? It's bulging. And this was the most, no, this was the same as the June 2022 box. It cost seven US dollars, but it's bulging. So I'm curious because I don't know what's in here. And I'm sorry, guys. I, I know I placed this order, but my memory, as you all know, um, I'd have to go back in my journals and look. But let's take a look together. So we have this and we have again the scroller sign. Now these colors are a little different for me. I like this color here but these colors here I don't know they're not that's nice for me but these colors like, I like yellow, but this, I don't know, there's something about that. So in here, my goodness. Um, I'm not even sure about what kind of supplies are in here. But wow, you've got a lovely Princeton, like, paintbrush. Uh, we're featuring Carrie Lemon. Look at her artwork, though. Oh, my goodness. Talk about talent. And then, of course, they interview these artists. I love interviews. I, I mean, I, I am so addicted to the biographies of people of creative natures. Um, and that goes across, across all of the subjects that I can think of like mathematics even. Like I am fascinated with people and their ideas and where they get their concepts and their ideas. And um, 
it just blows my mind. So again, her techniques, what she does, how, how to use the products. Look at these pictures, you guys. Oh my goodness. Can you see them? Glorious. Look at that. I love the shadow girls. I love when there's a trend of a certain kind of, for example, this one. This one does not follow any trend of girls that we know, you see. And I like that. I like the fact that it's different, you know. I like the fact that, um, well, this one's kind of staged. You see the candle? <laughs> That's what I mean when I say I don't stage my stuff. I just like plunk it down and you see a big mess and I turn on the camera and there it is. Um, yeah, I really like her work. Wow. So I guess, I guess that's her drawing. So uh, there is a scrawler community on Facebook. I don't really use Facebook all that much. I did it for um, some printouts, but pretty much that was it um, for personal reasons. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love it. I am a nature lover. I absolutely love that. Carrie Lemon, Brighton-based artist. So she's in the UK, I guess. You want to screenshot who she is there it is yeah she's in the uk oh my gosh she's commissioned by architects developers and luxury brands including sony japan wow matt cosmetics i'm just naming it harper's bazaar the national trust LA Times. I mean, I'm going through a lot of them here. Um, but that's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. Okay, so what do we have? Oh, Canson Paper A5 300 GSM. Okay, so when they put the G and then this slash, that's an S. Because S is like size, so everybody knows. But then M2 means that... Um, there's a certain pounds and then right underneath they put the weight. Now, if I'm incorrect, you guys, please feel free to correct me. Um, and there are 10 sheets and this paper is beautiful. I can't show you and I don't want to open it in case. But Canson has some of the best paper. Let's see what's in the little bundle here. Oh. And it's so heavy, it just ripped the tissue. I do like to reuse the tissues. And obviously, these are paints of a different kind. They're sticking. Oh, I think the candy. The candy. What is the candy? Oh, these are the chews. But look, the chew has come out. Okay. So, I mean, this has probably been sitting since, what is this box? February 2023. So, I mean, it's over a year old. Okay, but, but, you know, it's a candy. It's a lemon chew of some kind, but it, it, you know. And there's your sticker. And there was something else. There's that glorious paintbrush. The Princeton. Oh, my goodness. Angular shader. This will work so well with some of my other art supplies. I have those uh, Jane Davenport crayons that aren't crayons. They, uh, you put them down and then you add a little water and then it, it activates them. This brush would be perfect for that, even though it's part of this. So you probably know that probably isn't going. Again, you've got this little art snack sticker, which coordinates with her cover of the zine, which for some reason, when I look at the cover of the zine, I don't know, maybe it's because I've got a bit of a headache the colors are really bright, so I have to hide it under here. It's too bright for my eyes right now. Um, 
sometimes during the day when I get these headaches, I have to wear sunglasses all day, even in my house. Um, so it tells you about, these are uh, Dater Rodney System 3 Fluent Acrylics. So these are actually acrylics. That's lemon yellow. And the, the book actually tells you inside how to use them, right? Like that was one of the things that I really enjoy about here. Go with the flow, packed full of pigment, a little goes a long way. So, you know, you put a little bit down. Here's the blue. That doesn't quite look like that color, does it? Not to my eyes anyway, but that's fine. Oh, there's my male. And here's white. And then, what is this here? This is some sort of Posca marker in black. A graduate marker, all lycra, two millimeter. And the sweet treat is a sherbet lemon, a delicious lemon flavor, hard boiled sweet with a sherbet center. Um, this, this is the deep block of this marker is perfect for taking the opacity of the acrylics. So that's awesome, which means you can literally draw over top of the acrylic paint. So you always seem to get like five things. So that was the February 2023 box. You get a lot. Boiled candy, the cans and paper. I mean, you can't, you, you just can't. Um, I'm going to take that candy out. I think I don't want it to um, stain anything. And let's see if we can get these. I know that the box was raised up a bit. Let's put that picture under here. Seven US dollars, guys. I hope you guys are running over to Scrawlerbox if you can. If you can't, like, don't. Um, but this is where I get my supplies sometimes, you know, it is for me the most economical way I can do it. Um, how am I going to wrap that? Maybe I will just take this tissue and just stick it back in the tissue. Right back where it came from. Okay. So that February, 2023. And again, I will take the masking tape. And like I said, folks, one of you is going to win a mix match of these boxes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, again, yesterday's video, I mentioned, I mentioned it. So it basically started yesterday. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's where it began. Okay. And the final one of these pizza size ones was the October 2023. So it's not too old. And this one cost six US dollars. Again, I love the pull. And like I said, tomorrow I will take some of the supplies and I will show you what I'll do with them. And then you could probably deduce. Oh, look at the box. So they changed the the inner of the box because before it was blank you remember I love this you could do like transfers on that oh my goodness and you get a paint palette this box was six dollars so let's see what's going on here the scroller challenge for every box sold we will paint one tree in association with trees for the future so I guess this was a contest of sorts where you painted this or colored this and posted it on hashtag scrawler challenge. That's why they did that. Okay, so here's the scrawler sign. I love that. Reminds me of the galaxy. That's a little bright for my eyes. You're not seeing it as bright as I am, but that's a little bright tells us what we're getting. I'm not going to show you that right now, but we're focusing on Emily Wazel. Wazel? I'm sorry if I'm butchering, butchering her name. 
and I love her artwork as well. Okay, what's in here? So you get a palette and you get all sorts of like these little <laughs> confettis, uh, but they turn into um, sprinkle on magic or dab swipe spread. The magic of these paints is that you activate. So they're actually like paint bits that you like sprinkle down and then add water to them and activate them. That's very unique. Oh my goodness, you get a Derwent paintbrush and missile explosion candy. <laughs> so before I even show you, look at that. Beautiful. And of course, that picture there is her artwork. Look at that, guys. Look how gorgeous that is. If you want to take a screenshot. And she's also from the UK. Now, these boxes are from the UK. So, when I say six US dollars, they were really like, like four. So, I don't know if the price has gone up or if it was a one-time sale or if it was because I'd signed up for their book or their, um, their emails or whatnot, or because I've done, um, and some companies will do this where they ask you to do like surveys for them. I don't know, but I was given this price. So if you go there and the price is different for you, I don't know, maybe the factors are different for me because I do sign up for those things, but I love her artwork. Scholar community. Look at that. Like he looks kind of scary. I think this is the next box. But loose leaf was the challenge. Loose leaf. So that was the challenge. Loose leaf. I love it. But you can go anywhere with it. So you get... More watercolor paper. This is 300 GSM, cold pressed. Now there's cold pressed and hot pressed. And you guys can Google that. I won't get into that. But it's for different types of paint and different types of paint result. And you can feel the grip of cold press vice hot grip. And it's super thick. You hear that? Super thick. And there's 10 sheets in here. And then this cute little palette. And it's like one you could get at the Dollar Tree, but hey, whatever. Now let's look in here. This one actually is intact. Perfect. And I don't I don't want to wreck it. But man, like that's the first one. And this one was raised up, and yet, mind you, it all came in a box. It all came in like a larger box. And I still have one more box to do, guys, so please don't go anywhere. Look at that. So these are the, what do they call them? Jackman's Art Materials, and they're paints, guys. Wait until I swatch them, if I swatch them. And then here is, is this a spray bottle? Yeah, it's a spray bottle. Okay. I thought it was something else. Because I have spray bottles that you can get at the Dollar Tree. But that's just a spray bottle. Oh, here's the paint. Okay. Look at that brush. Oh, I'm so happy. And you just unscrew it. Where do you unscrew it? It's got more than one brush in there. I don't want to break it, but look at that. So, okay. That comes through there. 
How do you add the water? There we go. My hands don't like to work sometimes, guys. There you go. So you add the water in here and you put it in and just give it a twist or two. I hope I didn't bust it. Sometimes they pull, sometimes they don't, and then the water's controlled through there. Now, where is the lid? Here it is. I love that. I hope it works as good as they say. Derwent is a good brand. So you've got both the sprayer and that, and those. And then you've got your, your mission explosion, missile explosion, liquid filled bubble gum, and of course your sticker. Okay. Now, I, like I said, I may not send the candy or the stickers or any, you know, but one, like I will put one box together of whatever. You know what I'm saying? This box is not going to close flat unless I somehow rearrange it like that. So that was the October 2023 box, $6 US for me. And uh, it's always good to subscribe to some of these boxes because you get so much for so little and they do combine shipping. And because it was so little, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice now. Because it was so little, I didn't even have to pay import tax. Oh, I was brushing that tape. Come here. Oh, sorry, guys, I struggle sometimes with my hands. I'm like a nightmare over here. <laughs> it's like a train wreck. I drop things. You know, you get used to it, right? <laughs> you know, authentic Mel, here I am. Big old mess. So I'm just going to take this off. We'll save this with my other pieces of random tape. I don't throw them away. And this, this, like I said, is so cheap. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get it at the Dollar Tree, this masking tape. Um, or painter's tape, even. And it works great as washi, guys. Okay, so that was the four scroller boxes. Now, this is also a scroller box, and this I have written on the back of this page because I didn't want to show you. So that was the prices. Scroller box sale. Okay, so I pulled that out of my calendar. And then this is a beautiful box. And I hope it doesn't get wrecked by opening it a certain way. How does it open? Okay, over here. And this one here is, um, this is an afterthought. It's a Scrawler Blanks Pencil Case Gift Set. So I honestly don't remember what all was in here. <laughs> find out together guys because as you know my memory comes and goes and look at this beautiful box oh my goodness look at this comes with all the Poscas how much was this one this was on sale for $13 Thirteen dollars, you guys. For one, two, three, four, five, six Poscas, a pencil case, and that—that's amazing. But it's got these lovely, not so lovely, and you can like draw on this. Many, many people have this. I have a cat one, but I haven't been using it. Um, had the cat one forever but this one also has side pockets in it at the bottom so let me show you so you can like put certain pins you see like it's got like three pen holders around the side that you can put pens in and then it stands up to hold your tombos so there's that 
in white. So if you wanted to decorate it, let me just put that paper back in there. So 13 bucks US. And then I think that's probably all but I love the box and this this box would be great to like put a candle in for my daughters one of my daughters as a gift isn't that nice beautiful box so let's see what this is here this is some um, very thick papers so practice papers, Greco freestyle paper is the perfect partner to Posca's Plus. Okay, so it doesn't say how many, does it? Is this open? No. So how many papers are in there? One. And it's got a, a little gloss, very tiny gloss on it. Two, three, four, five. And then here we go. Look at that, guys. This is what I mean. So you get the sticker, which is clear, so that you can color it in. Never seen that before. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this scrawler blanks pencil. So let me show you guys, six Posca markers. Oh my goodness, so black, gold, pink, and white are my favorite colors. And also this is a favorite color of mine. And this one is a slate gray. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is like awesome, awesome. And you just put them in here with your pens. I think, let me add it up, 14, 13, that's 27 and 11. I spent $38, guys. I did not have to pay import tax and shipping was $18. So I spent almost just as much in shipping as I did for the whole thing. And I am thrilled. It is worth going over and taking a look to see if they have any left over. Although I'm not sponsored by them, obviously. Um, this was the pencil case one. I've never seen a blank one like that. I'm going to put this all back in the box. And that is my share with you guys today. Uh, Art Snack box and scroller boxes are the best way in my personal experience to get art supplies, especially when they go on sale, especially when they go on sale. Um, it's the only way I would go now, instead of spending $40 or getting a subscription, I would just go in and buy the ones I want, even though I didn't remember which ones they were. And Tomorrow, I think I will swatch or use or do something with the, some of the supplies that I'm choosing to keep. And in the meantime, some of the other ones will be included in the giveaway. And I will send a small little box like this in the next giveaway. So that is my video today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, this is Scroller Box. This was my share working on art projects. I've got my B6 Stalogy project coming up Sunday and I'm going to do a flip because I'm going to put week one and week two um, for the month of April. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I don't like to put anything in stone. And also yesterday, guys, guess what arrived? I think this is my, I think, I should actually open it right now even though, um, because I've said before, 
I've been waiting on my subscription. I don't know if it is. Let's see if it is. I don't recall ordering anything else from them, but I've been waiting a while for my March subscription. And I'd like to know that this is it. And so this will be the suspense vinyl. I think it is, but it looks much thinner than the last one. And this was $60, guys. 60 bucks. Canadian. Okay, so I don't know what that works out to be. I, I know a lot of you guys correct me and say it's not $60. I'm in Canada. Okay, so it's $60 plus shipping. So yes, this is my March of 2024. My only issue with this is why would they send me March when we're already in April? So as much as I love Shine Sticker Studio, I love Debbie and Chelsea, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem, I'll, I'll be using this for April. Um, and that works out well because on the 8th, we have the solar eclipse, as many of you may know. Maybe they do the next month. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. I'll have to look them up. I don't want to point fingers or anything. I don't know what's happened. It's probably me, but I did get it. And I'll go through that another time as well. Folks, I've already taken up a lot of your time today. I thank you ever so much for coming and joining me. Thank you, Chelsea and Debbie. I did get my subscription yesterday with these. Um... I've got to do a lot of rearranging with my house, guys. I just have lots. I do have a big uh, container full of stuff. Let's give away stuff. It's part of my nature, but please don't be attracted to my channel just because I do giveaways. I hope that you're here for, you know, just to relax, hang out, have some fun, feel safe. And all, all I ask is that everybody is courteous and kind and considerate to each and everybody. Keep an open mind, please. Remember that sometimes when we type our messages, they don't often come across as we mean them to. Um, that being said, folks, remember we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, all loved, needed and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. I know I care about you with all of my heart. And I hope that your Friday brings you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of cheer, and, but, and most of all, I hope that you and your families are safe and know that you are thought of. I will speak to you next time, folks. I look forward to doing so. And remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'm doing my best. And by putting um, a like and a comment, even though I don't monetize my channel, it does help my channel grow. And it helps other people who perhaps need somebody in the background of their lives speaking positively. Um, so I hope you can, can do that for me, for them. And that we can all be, you know, this extended family here on YouTube that's considerate and kind and caring, that do good by each other. That's my hope. Um, my other hope is that we end stigma of all kinds. And with that being said, folks, I will let you go. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye for now.